Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another edition of um, Code Wars with Binary Life. If you are new to Binary Life, this is a channel that teaches new developers how to code by solving multiple algorithms so that you can see how the thinking process is done and how we bring the solution to life. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get updates on future coming algorithms. Today we'll be solving last survival. Let's read it and try to understand as usual. You are given a string of letters and an array like this is letters here zbk and this is an array here that's it now um the numbers indicate position of letters that must be removed in order in order starting from the beginning to of the array each uh after each removal the size of the string decreases now let me break it down for you first this is a string here and this is an array of numbers so we come to this array here we go to the first element which is zero so we're going to come to this string and remove the element at index zero that is z we're going to remove z so it's going to be left with b k when we remove z we automatically remove zero too so zero is gone so we'll be left with b k here and we'll be left with one now on the remaining string we go to index one which is the k we remove it and this one jumps out so we'll be left with b and this array is empty so you see the tendency this this array keeps getting down until it becomes zero and this string it shrinks down until you are left with one element meaning um there will be one more element on the string than there are elements on the array so that at the end we have one element left it is that one element will be returning we have that guarantee here like the string will never be empty and then the length of the array is always one less than the length of the string all numbers will be valid so whatever operations so we can see that there's a tendency here this array shrinks until it becomes zero which means that whatever operation will be going on will be going on while while the coordinates which is the second element which is the array actually why the length of the array is greater than zero that's it and what happens now what happens is we are going to be removing the first element of the array progressively so let's remove it it's called uh, let's just call it this uh like my my temporary position because we'll use it tmp position will be equal to the coordinates that shift what do i mean if i come here let's go to the node console here now if i have an array let me just copy an array or, or let me just create one rapidly if I have an array called months that is made up of uh, January, February, March, April, and uh, let's add the last one, May. These are my months here right so um shift permits to remove uh it's, it makes it possible to remove things from the beginning of the array so if i say something like months.shift it removes the first element and returns it and then on the original array where january is gone so that's just what i did here shift i remove the first element and store it somewhere automatically so for this particular scenario here it's going to remove the zero um let me increase the size a little bit oops it's too big no worries okay so it's going to remove the zero here and store somewhere and then i'm going to come to this string here I remove the zero element which means i'm going to shrink down the string but since strings are unmutable that is we cannot remove elements from string we have to convert it to an array so i'm going to convert these letters into an array here so that i can do the manipulation 
like that okay now how do we remove elements in an array at a very specific position we do that using the splice keyword so let's come back to our example we have our months array if i do something like months dot splice at index 2 1 it returns april what do that what does that mean all right so it said um splice at index 2 who, who you at this particular point april was at index 2 and so it means at index 2 remove one element so you come to index 2 which is april and remove one element which is april itself that is why it returns april and what will be left will be left with uh, february march and may that is why we have it down here so which means we're going to use the same thing here we're going to come to the array and remove at this very specific position this this position that we took from the numbers array and remove one element now this cycle is going to repeat until this coordinates will be empty like here and we just have to return the last element remaining on this array here um array of zero that's it so let's just run it it works properly well so i'll just enlarge the screen so that you can have it full screen and uh we can break it down one more time so this converts the letters into string into an array sorry and then this loops why the numbers array is less is until it becomes zero if you like so we remove the first number and then we go into the array and check whoever is at that number and remove it with the splice keyword at the end of the day one element will be left on the array and we return it now this is the basic algorithm now we can um make it shorter for those who like compact code this expression here is practically it here we can just replace it and remove this line and a while loop with one expression can go in one line or we can just leave it like that if you want i think it's basically it's, it's okay like that now that's it and uh we are good to go all right so let's submit and as usual we're going to go do a walkthrough with other solutions to see um what others have done i think there is this is basically the same thing splitting is converting to array and instead of using a while loop we use the follow -up. this is the same thing um this is converting to array to using the spread operator and instead of using the while loop you use the follow -up. and splice and return the uh, array of zero the same the same thing this is the same thing instead of the follow -up, we use map is also another way of running through so i'm going to stop here like every algorithm tends to be around the same approach so thanks for watching and see you for further videos don't forget to subscribe